Hey guys, Justin here with ExtremeTerrain.com and today we're taking a closer look at the Red Rock side armor bars with the step pads available for all 21 and newer two-door Broncos. Now the Red Rock side armor here will deliver a sporty look with the lower rocker protection and as an added benefit, we'll provide some extra footing for getting into and out of your stock or lifted two-door. Now these bars will combine a durable tubular steel build along with a textured black powder coat and corresponding one-year warranty, all for right around the $400 price point for the pair. So right off the bat, guys, I feel like these options from Red Rock do a great job of combining a sporty look with the functionality of a rock slider or rocker protection and a convenient step all in one affordable package. Now, as far as your appearance is concerned, you're getting more of a pronounced look when compared to a traditional rock slider because those guys typically just hug the body really well to give you that lower rocker protection. They don't typically offer much in the way of a step. These options from Red Rock, on the other hand, they're gonna give you that lower rocker protection thanks to this bar here down below, but then they're gonna kick in this lateral bar up top here and that's gonna give you the added step, of course, and give you some additional footing, which is something you don't normally see with those more traditional sliders. Now, moving into construction, guys, you're gonna find that tubing here is built from a heavy-duty tubular steel, then finished off in a really sharp textured black powder coat, not only to keep things looking good for many years to come, but also help provide some traction or grip to that step pad area here for the two-door Bronco owners out there. Now, what I can tell you guys here is that handling these things in and around the shop, taking them out of the box, they're not exactly light. They're pretty heavy duty, and you get the impression that these guys can take some abuse off-road, while more importantly, keeping your rocker area protected on your two-door. And that's what really matters, I think, here at the end of the day. If you guys were just looking for a step, you could find a ton of them on the site. But chances are, if you're checking out this video, you really want that rocker protection first, and then the step is just kind of an added bonus or icing on the cake. Now, another nice thing to point out here, guys, is the price of the Red Rock options. Very affordable overall. In fact, you're looking at right around 400 bucks, give or take, for the pair, which, given the multi-role aspect of the steps slash sliders, certainly gonna be very, very attractive. Now, that's even more so once you start kind of price comparing some other options on the site, whether it be from Fab Fours, Deviate, or LOD, uh, those guys can get very expensive, actually getting above the $1,000 mark in by a pretty wide margin. So that's gonna make these even more affordable, again, if you're looking for something that's gonna balance some protection with the functionality of a step. But now we do want to segue into the install, and because this is a bolt-on job for the most part, the site's going to call it a strong one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter, taking you a couple of hours to complete from start to finish. Now, I say strong here because, as I mentioned earlier, these things aren't exactly light, so another set of hands might be helpful. Some owners have actually used a floor jack in the past to kind of hold them up into place. Whatever the case, guys, just be prepared to do a little bit of heavy lifting here with this job along with using a basic socket set to get everything tightened up. But to give you a better idea of just how this one might go down on your two-door at home, here is an XT customer to walk you through it. This installation is really easy. The only thing you're really required is a 16 millimeter socket, uh, short uh, ratchet, a 17 millimeter wrench. Those are the only tools that you're gonna need for this project. All right, here we have the uh, Red Rock. Uh, this is going to be the side armor with the step pads uh, for the new Ford Bronco. All right, guys, this is real simple. These are going to be your brackets. Uh, now your front bracket is obviously going to have these two bolt holes right here. This is going to be going up here. What you want from both of your brackets is the bracket to be facing on the inside. So you're going to have this one here. This one also on the back side. So your bolts on, you're out. The bolts are on the out. That's a good way of distinguishing between the passenger side and the driver's side. So once you have these, real simple, you got two bolts up here. These were already pre-made in the manufacturing of the vehicle. You're just simply gonna take this, you're gonna finger tight this, you're gonna run that in there. Now for these bolts, what you wanna make sure you do is the bolt, the lock nut, the spacer. 
and you're gonna take this, run it in here. Clearly when they designed the Ford Bronco, uh, they knew that they were gonna be adding a lot of manufactured aftermarket parts, which this is a great, great feature for the vehicle. I said, here's your bracket. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna line this one up right here. It sits right here. Pretty easy. I'm gonna go ahead and run those bolts in. If you're lucky enough to have a lift, probably be a lot easier. Uh, but it's a real simple install also, even if you're on the ground. Like I said, finger tight. And then you'll have both of these right here. As you see, that's where we're gonna take our step and put it right on top of there, okay? Now with this, what you're gonna notice is you have your brackets here. You have your step. Your step's gonna go on the back side. You have four bolts. You also have the spacer, which is gonna go on one side, spacer, and then the nut. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna go ahead and take this guy, sit it up on here. The hardest one for here is getting the first one in. Once you get that first one in, it'll actually hold it right there. That's your first one. You have two on the front, two on the back. that step. Now that we have the side armor up in place, uh, what I'd like to do is go ahead and tighten everything up. You're going to use your 16 millimeter. You're going to tighten up these two bolts going into the body. These two bolts going into the body also. I find that the back top bolt over here is easier to get if you take the extension off and just use a short 16. And that's really easy to get back over here. And then for the rest of the bolts, you want to go ahead and put your one and a half extension back on. Now you can go ahead and tighten up the bolts that actually hold the side armor on, you're gonna go ahead and put this on the nut. And then the 16 millimeter is gonna go on the bolt. And that's the installation of the side armor with the step. So wrapping this one up, guys, if you are looking for a killer combination of appearance, protection, and step functionality, be sure to check out the Red Rock side armor steps here for your two-door Bronco, available here at extremeterrain.com.